What's up guys? It's uh, West in Sarasota here. It's still day four inside Sarasota, or as I've been kind of referring to it, the quarantine zone, hashtag not quarantined. Um, uh, my last video was a little lighthearted, talking about the Pope, and I know it's a serious topic, but you know, he doesn't really affect me in my everyday life. Um, this video is going to be a little bit more about, you know, what's kind of really going on right now. What's What's the situation like? Like, uh, you know, talking with my sister, lives in Manhattan, and coronavirus is, you know, spreading there too. So, you know, talking with her and, and figuring out what what kind of precautions are, are you taking? What is she doing? And, it, you know, sounds like she's doing all the right things. And if there's been anyone in my family or anyone in my life that I know who's been practicing um, good hygiene and, you know, not touching railings and things like that in a populated gross city like Manhattan. And yes, I said a gross city like Manhattan. I think Manhattan is gross and dirty. But that's a topic for another time. Um, but yeah, she's really good about things like that. So I don't worry too much other than the fact that, you know, it is what it is. Um, on another note, a couple of, couple of different stories here. Um, so... I wanted to do a whole video on, you know, dealing with sick coworkers because the reality is, is there might be people at your job because you still have to go to work to pay your bills and things like that who might be sick. And uh, day two, um, I wanted to make this video yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to. But day two, I go in and one of my coworkers is sick. So I immediately am like, yo, listen, um, I love you, but... Yeah, I'm going to be staying away from you a little bit tonight just because. And, you know, not within two hours. He had a little coughing fit. <clears throat> and next thing you know, uh, he couldn't breathe. And, you know, I thought maybe panic attack, anxiety attack, you know, get under control, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know, it was bad. And we wound up actually having to call in. An ambulance and they looked at him they checked his blood pressure all that good stuff and they cleared him we sent them home um and you know he was back the next day looking pretty good but apparently you know he had a, a, a fever spike you know spiked up to like 103 and he just wasn't right you know the rest of the night you know what fevers can do to you and so it got me thinking you know how how do you really deal with the close proximity of, of people who are sick and, and things of that nature. So, I don't know, man. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, what what can you really do other than, again, washing your hands? Don't touch your face. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so how are you dealing with, uh, you know, sick coworkers and, and, and things like that? Let me know. Um, stay safe. Hug your loved ones. Um, not too close though. Only after you wash your hands, give them a hug. Uh, maybe maybe skip the hug altogether. But seriously, uh, guys, stay safe. Stay away from people who are sick. If you're not feeling well, stay away from other people. Do the right thing. Don't don't be the office hero who wants to go in because you know they have a deadline due. Just stay home. And make sure you you don't have anything because it's not necessarily about you. It's about the other people out there. It's about the people with compromised immune systems. And it's about the, the elderly. And it's about the young. And it's about, well, I mean, anyone, anyone, anyone can be susceptible to it. So just practice good hygiene, practice good habits, and think about more than just yourself, you know. And, and that, that goes for me as well. So... Again, have a good one and stay safe, stay healthy. And I, uh, I got a little more, another video coming for you here pretty soon. Uh, another continuation about uh, some work things. So uh, I'll see you in a minute. Peace out.